Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? This video is going to be the first of, hopefully many actually, maybe first of its kind. I'm going to do a critique of a, uh, I like, I don't want to say fan, but I guess a fan's work. I feel, I feel like the word fan is so arrogant, you know, but, you know, like a follower. And uh, he, you know, wanted my, my advice on uh, this piece he did of Deadpool right here. So I am going to do it on the computer because I feel like uh, it's just easier for me to kind of like talk about it if it's on the computer and I could draw I could draw over it without anything going on and I could easily you know uh, erase and all that stuff like that so without actually touching the picture so this is a scanned image he sent to me on Instagram and the user is McKay15 on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram please start following me on Instagram it'll be nice to hear from you and uh, a lot of people from this YouTube channel have actually contacted me on my Instagram and I was like pretty amazed uh, but the Instagram name is Omega Man 20. That's O M E G A M A N 20. Omega Man 20. Search for me on Instagram and uh, at, follow me. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get into it. So the first thing that stands out for me, first thing I'm gonna say, McKay, is great job. You know, overall, great job. Obviously, you know, you, you know, it looks like what it is. Deadpool. He's shooting a gun right at the screen over here. The laser coming out. Laser sight. Um, so just good job just I'm gonna say that right off the bat because it's true you know uh, okay so now we're going to the critique part what is it that I feel is breaking this up a little bit you also have to keep in mind this is a scanned picture you know what I mean he took it with a photograph so there's a slight gradation going on um, you know from here all the way over over like from the bottom right all the way to the top left so there's that gradation and that's not really in the image you know it's just because of uh, cause of a photo so keep that in mind so we're just gonna look at the structure of the character um, so everything seems to be pretty good the first thing that pops out at me is this shoulder is a little disjointed I would say from the rest and obviously it depends on you know if he's pulling a cartoony style or you know what I mean that kind of thing I'm gonna assume it's a slightly cartoonified style that's what I'm gonna assume you know um, I would connect the uh, the, this arm to the shoulder more because right now it seems a little disjointed. I'd maybe put, and I'm not going to do this like I'm drawing a line or anything. I'm going to do this. Let me see. Let me do this in bright green, bright yellow, so you see what I'm talking about. And let me zoom in. See right here in the arm, I'd maybe put a little bit of a, you know, where the pectoralis actually, the pectoralis kind of ties in to where the, uh, where the deltoid. Hold on one second. I don't have my settings correct here. Bear with me. <clears throat> yeah, see, so the pectoralis would really tie up in here when you put your arm up like that. And this muscle is great, you know. I would just connect the pec to the deltoid more, you know, because that's usually what happens in real life. It kind of becomes like one long, weird looking muscle. Um, not like a big batch, but it looks like, I don't know how to say it, like two, like, like, I don't know, like two things stuffed into a bag or something. But um, they do connect, and I would say, remember this area here, so to make it look uh, connective right now, because right now it looks a little bit, little bit disjointed. Oops, say, right now it looks a little bit disjointed uh, right here, but you know, still gets the point across. The other thing, the thing that really stood out to me the first time I looked at this uh, would be, and I didn't say this, is um, the sword in the back, you know. You have to draw through the form in initially, you know what I mean? So where would this sword go, right? The sword would be, let me make this flatter one second. So the sword would go from here to here to here. And I guess right here, right? But then if that's true, then the is the sword, you know, the, the it's kind of got this strange tilt going on. That I don't think is intentional. Um, I don't know. It could be intentional, but I don't, I don't think it is, right? See, usually the handle of the sword, uh, I would imagine, would be on the same axis as the blade. You know what I'm saying? So that would be something to watch out for. So the way to solve that is you kind of draw through the form, even though you know that his body's going to cover the sword. It's still going to stick out there. You know, you have to draw through it, and then 
Uh, you have to draw through it like, you know, like it's not, like the body's not even there in the beginning to kind of find that proportion out, you know? And I remember, like, if it's a 90 degree angle, you know, that's going to that's gonna change. That's why it's so important to draw draw through the form, and then maybe after you're done, then, you know, when you're drawing this body over here, you just kind of erase this stuff. And it'll be very, very consistent, you know what I'm saying? It'll look connected. It'll kind of unify it. Um, one more thing. Let me see. Uh, on just a simple perspective level, uh, if you look at this, and this is going to be maybe a little bit advanced. I haven't put a perspective thing out yet. But uh, if you look at the ellipse of the water, and, you know, like, you know, like, I'm trying to tell you that this is a good, this is a good drawing. You know what I mean? The thing is that I'm saying is that, um, you know, I'm like trying to find every little thing that I can find that's a little off with it, you know, to kind of just, so you make uh, corrections for next time to, to learn from. So I would say that that would be the ellipse of the water, the cir you know, how circle it is. If I was to put that in a box, and I'm going to go over this in another video, so don't worry. If I was to put that in a box, as this kind of thing going on, like that's kind of the ellipse. The problem I have with this is that the horizon line is going to be super crazy, I think. Yeah, let's see, see the horizon line is going to be way up over here. Yeah, the horizon line is going to be too high. The horizon line would be, you know, preferably you want the horizon line to be about here. And again, I'll go over it in another video. You know, you want the horizon line more over here. So let's just say that would be like, uh, let me use a different color to explain where I would put um, the horizon line. Let's see. Let me get uh, blue. You guys want blue? And yeah, blue stands out, right? Yeah. So I would put it about here, you know, like if a character's just on a level playing field, you know, you're, you're pretty much on the earth, you know, the angle's not super high or super low, then let's just say that, you know, the way he's standing right there, because clearly the angle's not, the camera's right at him, you know, so the, it's going to be like over here-ish, anywhere over here, let's say it's right here, but pull that, let's pull that down, you know, and these points right here are just arbitrary, by the way, the ones I'm picking, I'm just trying to make a point. Oops. The blue's kind of visible. I hope it's all right. So I would say the correct, the correct one would be more like here. Let me brighten that blue up so you can see it. Just brightness. Yeah, let me brighten that blue up so you guys can see that. And so I'll really put more. Really put the horizon line more like right here. But that would change the way the ellipse looks too, I think. The ellipse would be more... Um, it would be a little It'll be a little different. It wouldn't even be that far. So, I guess... Um, one second. The ellipse itself would be a little more like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, uh, if you think about it this way... If you're looking at a giant, let's say, building or tube, let's say you're looking at a giant tube, right? When it's in its flat to your view, when it's flat on the horizon line, it's going to be like that. Let me move this around. Okay. <clears throat> let's say you're looking at a tube, right? And the horizon line's over here. It's going to be like that. Uh, let's say you're looking at a coin, I mean. And then let's say you're looking at this coin, and as the coin goes above your horizon line, meaning your eye line, the coin's going to start changing shape. You're going to start seeing the sides of it and the bottom of it. Eventually, when it when you know we start seeing just the bottom of it, it's going to look like that. You know, it's going to look like a circle again. Does that make sense? And then the same thing. You know, see, it's going to get even, and then it's going to change here as it as it starts angling down. As it starts going below your eye line, like when it's on the floor, when a coin's on the floor, you're going to start seeing it to, like that. So that's the way I think about this right here, you know what I mean? This thing, uh, I feel like the circle in the water could be a little more like that, you know what I mean? So, what? I, the, the, sorry about, um, so what does that mean, right? 
what does that mean? Basically, all that means, I kind of want to, all that, all that talking there means, means that I'm just going to change the ripples in the water to kind of con conform to a different kind of sphere, you know what I mean? And I think it's mostly the outer ones. These right here seem pretty good. It's, as they get outer, it gets kind of weird, you know, it gets kind of like, it starts turning. They'd all be on the same axis, really, you know what I mean? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, everything else looks pretty good, I think. Uh, I would I would uh, definitely, you know, this is scanned in, so there's a couple of things. The gun looks pretty good. I'm digging the gun here. Let me see. Hold on. Where's, sorry, I keep uh, turning off layers. I'm digging the gun. Good perspective on it. Honestly, I, I, I dig it a lot. Maybe reference a real gun for exactly what... Um, I don't know if you did reference a real gun or not, you know, but it looks pretty good. I think maybe you didn't because there's a few rivets in here that a real gun has that are not in here, you know. And it also looks more like a stun gun because uh, I, th I believe a real gun's not as, uh, I don't think it's as angular as that. I think the trigger is a little bit bigger. You know, it looks more like a stun gun, but um, it's still a great job. I think it's a great perspective job on this, honestly. It's very similar to what I would, what I would do... Uh, yeah, I'm digging the gun overall. Like I said, it's just a few little things. That's kind of yeah, the grip on it looks great. I think the grip, the hand grip on it looks really good. Uh, let me see right here. The anatomy looks all right over here. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm digging this. Uh, what else? Just uh, yeah, the body looks good over here. I would maybe no, actually, he's making this kind of like that's where his spine's going, right? Yeah. His spine's doing this. Oops. His spine is doing this kind of thing, right? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I dig that. So, I think that's uh, all I have to say, actually, about this, to be honest. The last thing I would say would be an overall critique, an overall thing. Um, just watch your line. See how the line's over here. And I know this is scanned, so I know this is, you know, a little bit different. Um, when you scan it, things come out a little bit differently. I, I know that. Uh, just be more definitive I think especially with your contour lines over here it looks a little bit dark up here compared to the line down here but that might be the scan you know I would like uh, I don't know if you've heard this rule on one of my other tapes uh, I would uh, what I do is when I'm doing any kind of line art and I know this is a computer so it's a little different if but it, I, it works the same way in pencil when I'm doing let's say like let's say that hilt right there right and I have, and I'm just doing this quick, you know. Let's say that, oh man, it looks like a dick, dude. Let me, <laughs> I don't make that look like a dick. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Okay, now it looks like normal. Um, I, what I would do, and this is, I do this in pencil as well as in computer. I make the contour of it a little bit, a little bit thicker. Just the contour either the contour or whatever's closest to me and I try to make it even everywhere which can kind of be a pain actually I mean honestly it's easy once you get the hang of it but um, sometimes it can be a chore you're like oh man I have to go around the whole thing again you know what I mean I have to go around and make it a little bit thicker and the way this is the rule we used to use in uh, art school actually um, we would have one two and three lines it'd be like this would be one here like let's say the thinnest would be one, two, and then three would be freaking really thick. And actually, there's only a slight difference between those three. But when you put them in, you know, inside a picture, you can really tell, and it makes a, a massive, massive difference in your line art. Like it'll, it, your stuff will look so good, you know. So the general rule on that, on the one, two, and three line, would be anything coming closer to you. Let's say this hand. This might be like a two. We hardly use three, actually. We only use mostly one and two. You know, maybe this over the shoulder. You know, the shoulder's coming in front of him. Maybe you make that line a little bit thicker. You know what I mean? Um, you know, emphasis areas like the eye. Uh, just the general contour. This is coming. Let's say this bag is coming in front of that sword. I'd make that line right there mostly a little bit thicker than the lines everywhere else. Anyways, this has gone long enough. Uh, thanks a lot, by the way, for submitting this. If anybody else wants their uh, wants their artwork critiqued, 
and like on video like this i will uh, i'm gonna actually start making this a segment because i have been getting some artwork and uh, if you guys want to critique let me know and i'll go over it and uh, just email your artwork to omega man 20 at gmail.com let me write that here Mega Man 20 at gmail.com. I guess caps does, doesn't even really matter. I was just going to write caps for emphasis. Uh, let me make it so you can see that. Omega Man 20 at gmail.com. Any, uh, anything you want critiqued, either privately or if you want it privately. You know what I mean? Just let me know. But um, I'll I'll ask you. You know if uh, if I can record it, because uh, I think these are really interesting, and I think you can learn a lot. I think everybody can really learn a lot from these. So, anyways, guys. Uh, overall, Mika, great job. Amazing. Uh, keep going. You know what I mean? Keep practicing, and uh, I think you, you know, you really remind me of like this reminds me of some of my older drawings actually. So, all right, guys. I'll see you later, and uh, peace out.